special guest. It's hard to believe that she once got beaten in the Miss Teen Niagara Beauty Quest. Have a look at this. And it don't matter what you the queen of the catwalk, the woman who changed the face of modelling in more ways than one. With her fiery, exotic looks and that distinctive, prowling, feline sensuality, you'd think Linda Evangelista would have had an easy road to the top. But this car worker's daughter from St. Catharines, Canada, did it the hard way. She broke the rules, chopped her hair short to the horror of the establishment and started a revolution. Not only did she create a whole new look, she was the first to take the power from the publishers and the photographers and put it firmly in the hands of the models. In a business where fame is fleeting, where careers come and go in a few short years, Linda has reigned supreme. The look of the 80s, very much a superstar of the 90s. Yes, indeed. Now, Linda was once, uh, she once quoted jokingly as saying that she doesn't get out of bed for less than $10,000. She tells me that that was just a joke, that the journalist had no sense of humour. I'm delighted to say that she's out of bed, she's dressed to kill, and she's here. Would you please welcome Miss Linda Evangelist. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for having me. Lovely to have you here for the first trip to Australia. Mm -hmm. Did you realise that we were the, the other end of the earth? I knew you existed all along. Did you? Yeah. You've just been avoiding us. I'm finally here okay. and happy to be here. Now, um, what did you expect in coming here? Did you expect um, Mel Gibson? The Bee Gees? Act no, actually the Bee Gees. <laughs> Big fan of the Bee Gees. No, I came here to see you. <laughs> I and love you already. And your famous hairdo. <laughs> you promised me you wouldn't talk about that. You know what, I'm going to talk about it later. All right. Well, we um, tell it you arrive in Sydney. You take a trip on the harbour. And I go to the zoo. Right. Um, I have only enough time to see the Australian animals. And someone suggested, because it was during lunchtime, they suggested I just get a quick bite to eat there. And I had a wonderful Aussie sausage sandwich. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> um, out of 10, how would you rate the sausage? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not. It was a sausage from hell. Come on, it was a sausage from hell, admit it. Yes, it was. It was. Since then, have you, you had a great lunch today, so we've had some I did. There's um, some great cuisine here in this city, actually. Okay, well, I had fine. Italian. But you are Italian? Mm-hmm. And you can... Are you a pasta princess? I mean, you obviously uh, have to watch your weight, don't you? I do. Yes, I do. do you, but but do you, you don't diet? I diet. Um, yeah, I have to. I don't can't help it. <laughs> you always wanted to be a model? Always. Okay, uh, right back since, at... Since the time I was 12. Okay. Now, I read that one, a teacher, at, uh, was it the last year of high school, who said to you that... Uh, last year of junior high school. Okay. Yeah. And she said, we'll see you one day in Vogue. On the cover of Vogue, that's what she said. How many times have you been on the cover of Vogue, do you figure? Mm, I, I don't know. I don't, a lot I don't of times. count. Growing up for you, though, I mean, who, who did you love? Who, did you, who were the idols? Um, I always loved the actresses from the 50s, like Audrey Hepburn, Grace Kelly, I mean, all of them. And then um, I was obsessed with every model. Were you really? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you would have been too young as I was, too young to remember the hippie period in the 60s. Um, my grandfather was at Woodstock. <laughs> and um, he, my great, great, great grandfather was at Woodstock. And he has some footage, and you were there with the same hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't changed. Oh, um, gee, I did like you too. Linda, <laughs> we'll be seeing you in action a little later with the, in fact, what are you going to be wearing that hippie stuff? You going to tell me? You'll, you'll have to wait and see. Okay. All right, then uh, we'll move on. Uh, on the business, the first line we've got here. Our first collection, all about natural colours. Natural colours are in? 
for you? They work, yes. They work. Natural textures, natural fabrics and fibres, which is why it's called the naturals. And when it comes to looking good, this next lady is an absolute natural. <laughs> Welcome back. <clears throat> Ray Martin and Linda Evangelista here with Visions of uh, Spring and Summer 1993. That looked fantastic. Did it feel good? Yes, it did. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I'm quite impressed with the Australian designers. Okay. Now listen, as a, as a child, as a, a little girl, you had a, a young girl, you had a choice of modelling or music. <laughs> right? Um, you, my parents liked to involve me in extracurricular activities and we had an accordion in the closet that my father brought over from an Italy. Not a violin. A no. piano accordion. No offence, but you know, so in Australia, a piano accordion would be associated with sort of Italian families maybe and uh, weddings or funerals and some drunken uncle in the corner playing it. Kind well, of. I really wanted to play the piano, but my parents couldn't afford one and they said it's this or nothing. Uh, uh, so how good are you? Just excellent. <laughs> <laughs> the repertoire is how many songs, Linda? I can do one off by heart and I can read about ten corny ones. We've got some uh, footage of uh, Linda at work. Have a look at this. Very good. That's the one you, you know, is it? That's the one I know off by heart. Okay. Now listen, with all the gags about the hair and so on, we've got one out the back if you'd like to play for us tonight. Would you like to play the piano accordion for us? You're right. They told me this would be good to say. I'll get back to you shortly. <laughs> <laughs> She's got on a hand. <laughs> and well, no worries. No worries. <laughs> Very Australian. No worries. Now listen, if you had to, we're about to see some swimsuits. Coming mm -hmm. from your neck of the woods, are you aware of, uh, of the dangers of skin cancer? Are you, do, you, do you use creams all the time? Um, I always wear sunscreen when I do go in the sun, and I just, you know, it feels really good to be tanned, but I really limit myself only because we have to. But, but Italian and Canadian parents, I mean, so you have a, an olive complexion anyway, so you help by that. Mm hmm. Not now, long. hats? Do you wear a hat? Nah. Why not? I'm not into hats. You don't like hats? Do you wear hats? Oh, no, no, no. You but wouldn't I don't. dare cover up that dude, <laughs> would you? <laughs> well, let's talk about your hair then. It seems that every time that you change your hair colour and fashion, every time it's just about as much as I put a new shirt on. Yeah. Almost. Why? Because it's fun. Change is good. Did you ever. You should consider colouring your hair. <laughs> what what colour would you recommend? Jungle red. Does it come out? What do you mean? Does, does it, it fall out? <laughs> does it wash out? Um, it does wash out. Every time you wash your hair, you've got to put it back in. So when, you cut, when was it? Was it 88, 1989 that you cut off those beautiful long locks and decided to go short? Somewhere around then, anyway. I don't, yeah, Hang something out. like that. Again, that threatened your career. There was a time there when uh, people were saying, well, that's it. She's lost it. Um, the first few weeks, they didn't really get my hair cut. Um, they thought it was a big mistake, but um, it caught on pretty quickly. All right. Now, since then, how many colours? I mean, is there any colour you haven't done your hair? I haven't done black. Black, which is probably your natural root, colour? My root colour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about it. Haven't right. done your colour. <laughs> All right, we're going to get right along here. You're a tough woman. I liked you early on. All right, gentlemen, start your engines. We're about to rev up and uh, race off, certainly rev up the temperature. Race off to the beach. This time it's Cable Beach in Western Australia. Have a look. <laughs> now, do you, Claudia said she doesn't do fashion parades and swimwear. Do you? No, like Claudia, I am shy. Um, the one thing I did find out is that um, I'll get paid more money to wear ugly fashion than to not wear any at all. Really? So. I do fashion. Okay. Now, it's American summer again, or the European summer we've just had. Have you had a vacation? I had a couple of weeks off. What does that mean? Where's home for you then? Los Angeles, the Plain, New York, 
Paris. Tough, isn't it? Now, what are you, what are you doing on vacation then? Nothing. I stayed home this, this year. Okay, all right, terrific. Coming up next, the smooth and uh, starly sound of Anthony Warlow, right up. Welcome back. I'm with uh, Linda Evangelista, of course. We talked about the, the number of hairstyles, the way you changed and so on, but, uh, but also you seem to like acting. The clips that I've seen, uh, have you, is there a bit of the actress about you? There's probably a little desire in there, except for nobody's asked. And we make some I'm great available. I was going to say, look, sort of look down the camera, we make some great films here in Australia. So if, uh, you do, you certainly do. If there was a director or a money man, a woman out there who wanted a, a beautiful Canadian actress. I'm available and I'll get out of bed for less than usual. <laughs> <laughs> Any particular, who, who, would, who would you admire in terms of actresses at the moment? Anyone that you, do you get to see many films? I, um, I see them on the airplanes and any, any film entertains me. Right. I like a good cry. And so, so nothing in mind, if, 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 in style of, of film, there's nothing you'd like a Casablanca or a Gone with the Wind or you don't see yourself as a Vivian Lee or something like that? I have really great range, so I can do all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I can. <laughs> now on those plane trips, we were talking earlier, obviously you're on your own, you're travelling around the world, you're booked out all the year. What about pickup lines? What about guys who come along and simply would like a date? What are the worst ones? A lot of the men sitting beside me in business class or first class, some of them don't know who I am and they try and chit chat and they, um, they say, so what do you do? And I say, I'm a model. And they say, well, it must be tough. And I go, not too bad, but recently in the airport, this man came up to me and he said, look, you make my hands wet. And I went, oh dear. And I... I didn't know what to do, so I just walked away, and um, I board the plane, I'm the last one to get on, and he's sitting next to me. I had to listen to my Walkman <laughs> on the 13-hour flight. Do you, you, you talked to me earlier, too, about, uh, about tricks of the trade of the catwalk. Just tell me, you've never, never fallen, touch wood? I haven't, no. <laughs> but is that the worst nightmare, is that the worst fear that you've got? I do have a fear of falling, but um, I take, the clients hate me, I take my shoes and I slash them with scissors so they're not slippery anymore. On the anymore. Soles, not on the, on, top. The, on the bottom, yes. <laughs> and, um, what else in terms of tricks? Unbuttoning? I used to have this fear of taking off jackets. I would say, please don't make me take it off, but now I can, it's very mechanical and I can pop them with one hand and I'm okay now. Okay, now, for you, better. the essential four, if you go to the island, what would you take, the four essential items? Oh, to the island. I don't know, I always, I wouldn't take hose to, I was going to say I take lots of hose because I'm always running my hose, but um, not to an island. All right. I can't answer that. All right. It's really good tonight. We saw so many different looks. I think it's so great today that um, there's not one specific look. Everyone can do their own thing and it works and it's accepted. The nice thing too is, again, that I guess most of the ones that you do, most of the shows you do, are expensive gowns and expensive stuff. Do you get... Not all of them. I, I do shows be... where they're all, where it's very affordable. Okay, well, these are very affordable. All right, let's move on. Once again, Western Australia is the spectacular setting. You've got to go to Western Australia, you and Carl. It's just wonderful. For our next collection, The Big Easy, shot in the Pilbara 